morning guys uh, welcome to friday morning we had a bit of rain overnight we had a bit of a storm come through uh, it's a little bit wet i've left some um mulch kit stuff out for mick for the gravely so i've just left a, a little toe attachment and full mulch kit for him so he'll come and pick up that during the day i'm going to head out and do some um a couple of lawns this morning just a few small residential lawns in the morning a little hedge trimming job then i'm going to head out to um the secret garden so see kylie out there um get some work done out there we're going to take the chipper because the fencer has chopped into some of our hedges so that's going to be interesting to see what he's done to some of our hedges because he's had to put some wire mesh up through the fence and through the hedge so Apparently he's done a bit of a bit of hacking out there, so um, just do some chipping and test the pool out there as well. Do a bit of pool testing, so um, that might be interesting to see. So uh, stay with us, guys, and if we get time, we'll also pick up that Toro. But I don't know if we're going to get time today to go and pick that up. We'll just see how we go. See you in a minute, guys. Morning, guys. Just on our way to our. Um first job for the morning um, guy asked me last night he just did a comment on one of my uh, YouTube videos um, I think it was David I'm not sure sorry if I got your name right wrong mate um, the he asked how do you go about getting new customers so when you're first starting off getting new customers so one of the things uh, that I found really, really good is flyers. So if you do uh, some flyers up and target the areas that you want to work in. So if you want to target, I'd start by targeting your own area. Uh, say your own, say if you live in an estate or you live, uh, you know, just in a, a community, get some flyers printed up, just use um, either a, a local printer or you can jump onto a company called Vistaprint. So Vistaprint, um, you can design your own flyer and uh, just put your uh, your name, contact details, your, your business name, your ABN, uh, your insurance, state that you've, you're, you're, in, you're insured, um, and the services that you provide and just deliver just in the afternoons when you get home from work when you get when you get home from mowing or on the weekend just go for a walk with the dog or go for a walk with your kids um, or your wife and just um, do a letterbox drop i found that they're pretty uh, pretty successful the other thing that i notice is guys um, with new setups they have a trailer and a ute and no signage so one of the really important things is signage so you're a mobile billboard right so what you want to do is when you're driving around from job to job you want to be advertising so when you're dropping the kids off to school you're advertising uh, your mobile you've got a mobile billboard there use it a lot of the guys I see uh, have tiny little signs they'll have a tiny little magnet or something on the side of their truck and you can't even see it you, it's got to be big and it's got to be bold and you want to stand out uh, and it has to look professional so that's the that's some of my tips there guys about uh how to go about getting started up with uh, a bit of advertising uh, they're some of the things that I would do uh, to try and get some more more customers. So hopefully that uh, that helps with that uh, that question uh, there, mate. Um, we've got the chipper loaded up. We're on our way to the first job. Uh, light sprinkles, a uh, little bit of rain, but hopefully we'll be able to get it get it get it done. Uh, there's no golf on this afternoon. Normally I take my golf, my son to uh, golf on a Friday afternoon, but there's no um, no golf today. I think we're going to get some uh, 
storms this afternoon. Uh, looking forward to the weekend as well, guys. We're going to uh, get a little bit of work done tomorrow. Uh, tie up a few loose ends uh, on Saturday. And then after that, we're going to head down and do a bit of camping. So I'm going to take the boys camping for the weekend with a few mates. So it should be a bit of fun. Uh, there's some other kids coming, so the, the boys just love going camping and hanging out with their uh, their mates, so it's all good fun. It's just uh, relaxing, so uh, looking forward to looking forward to that. All right, guys, I'll um, I'll see you at the next job. It's another uh, tip, guys. Um, find a company or look for a company that you want to aspire to, I guess, or that you respect or think that is very very good and high quality so have a look for a company that you can possibly maybe model some of your stuff off doesn't necessarily have to be an Australian company it can be overseas for me um, personally it's an overseas company that I watch and I look at their posts I look at their business I look at how they operate I um, watch the owner and what he does um, and I I don't copy them but what I do is I just use them as inspiration um, so that's one of the things you can do as well so find a, a a big big company or a company that you think is well respected and very well um, run and just start to use that as in your inspiration so um it's another little little tip tip there guys you know it doesn't have to be an australian company there's lawn care and garden maintenance companies all over the world um so you know don't just automatically think oh i've got to be like jim's mowing or i've got to be like jim jim's because um i tell you what there's some lot better companies out there in the world than uh than gym and they're they're very well run i'm not saying the gym isn't very very well run but um i think that there's some other companies out there that you also need to consider and um you know these companies are all over the world and it's it's big bucks it's we're talking you know it's big money Hey guys, just out at this um, first job, we've just got around and done all the edges, but we've just got to get this hedging done. So we're going to do some hedging both sides. So that hedge on the other side over there, and also this hedge here. So yeah, we've gone around and done all the edges. Uh, before we mow the lawn, we're going to do the hedges, um, and then we'll do a rake up, clean up, and then we'll mow the lawn afterwards just to suck any final bits and pieces up. So uh, again, just the Makita. Um, single battery. That's what we're gonna use today. Great little tool. Okay guys, just giving this uh, hedge a bit of a trim, tidy up, done the lawn, and also done that hedge on the other side there. I don't know if you can see see that one over there just trim that tidied that one up um, so we're going to head off to give this a good blow down and then we'll head off to the um, head off to the next job just uh, noticed something on the trailer guys we might have a bit of an issue today but um, see if we can sort it out bit of a drama just noticed uh, just noticed one of the wheel nuts come loose so that's an issue um, that one's loose as well but, um, we'll just tighten these back up and uh, I'll have to go around and check them all just make sure that they're all all tight because they've obviously come come loose so check your nuts guys okay guys let's set the next uh, job And backwash. Backwash the pool. 
get that done and uh, duck up and see Kylie and clean the filters out. Just cleaning out the uh, filters. Um, what I did was there was a lot of frogs that were getting caught in the bottom trough here. So I've put logs in the bottom trough so they can, um, the frogs can get out. Just, they just get out like that. It's really cool. Okay guys, we'll just walk up and say g'day to Kylie. It's just started to rain a bit. So, just head up, just getting a bit of mulching done this morning. Kylie's getting stuck into it, which is good. So we're just gonna unload the uh, chipper, just head over head over to the hedge it's, um, had a big cutback I'll show you that in a minute but um, we're just gonna chip up some uh, chip up some uh, viburnum hey guys so this is all the uh, branches that have been cut back we're just gonna throw them through the chipper I'm just stuck out here in the rain. We've had a big storm come through and this mower would just not start You'll Probably hear the uh, lightning in the background of it For it to start you've got to get this Have the handbrake on but When I was pulling the handbrake on see how that that there Presses the sensor. It's a little sensor down there. So what was happening this metal piece was missing that, that piece was just sliding past there and not depressing that sensor. So um, it's just come a bit a bit loose. So I'll show you what it was doing. Sort of going, going past it, not, not working, but it's all sorted now. So it just needs a little bit of a tighten up and get that sorted. I thought it might've been a fuse, a fuse issue, to be honest with you. I initially checked the, um, check the fuses but, um, they're up here just these two fuses I thought it might have been a, you know one of these two fuses that had gone but no nah, they're fine check them um, just they've got these sensors on them these mowers they're like a pressure there's one down in there as well you can see that and then that presses down from there so they need to be all depressed when you want to start the mower so you, your arms have got to be out the two arms have got to be out obviously and that handbrake's got to be on so that's all sorted well i'm absolutely soaked guys it's um absolutely falling down that's a little little bit of the garden that we do but um what a day absolutely got a lot done but um, towards the end of the day there, it just fell down. So um, I think I'm gonna run out of time to pick up that um, 48 today. Hopefully I might get some time tomorrow to go and pick it up. But um, it's good to see the rain, but uh, gee, it's, I got caught out in it. So anyway, hope, hopefully everyone's had a great day. Um, I'll uh, catch you tomorrow in tomorrow's one um see what we've got in store so uh have a great night please like and subscribe and uh take it easy see you guys so i've decided to uh duck up to the mower shop this afternoon i've still got a bit of time to um get up there before they close so i'm going to run this um 36 inch grandstand back up to uh gyc at norellan there and i'll go and pick up the um 48 so it should be exciting Hey guys, just out here at uh, GYC Norellan, 
just going to drop off the Toro. We'll just un unload this. Hopefully, we can unload it before it rains again. Get, um, get this all loaded up. Get the new one home and in the garage. This is the uh, new girl. So there she is. It's all good to go. So that's uh, Sally. Can't wait to get her out and uh, get some work done with her.